Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about a question that usually comes in the midterm and final, which is structure and mechanics paragraph question. So this question usually shows up in the midterm and also in the final, but the most students get this question wrong and they lose a lot of points, a lot of grades. So let's learn how to answer this type of a question. The question will give you a paragraph like this and then they will ask you this question read the following paragraph and underline all changes after editing for the first one which is unity by deleting one irrelevant sentence so i have explained that in a previous video make sure to understand unity all right and also you have to correct it for cohesion by changing one incorrect connectors I have also uh, talked about that in a previous video, which is check it out. Uh, grammar by correcting one subject verb disagreement. And I also talked about that in a previous video. And uh, correct for structure by correcting one run on sentence. I also have uh, explained that in a previous video. Uh, punctuation by adding one missing comma. I talked about that in a previous video as well. All right, so let's try to um, learn how to answer this type of question if we see it in the midterm and the final. Let's do it together. The first thing for sure you're gonna read, right? The university library is an active research lab for scholars to both, to both look back and look forward into new methods and a new knowledge. So they are talking about university uh, library how it is very good uh, resource for scholars very good then he will talk about uh, it distinguishes itself as leaders in transforming preserving and making accessible unique material also talking about uh, the university library and how it is a good for accessible unique material which is another very good idea in contrast, it endeavors to translate the changing and diverse research needs of the campus into innovative and effective services and information experiences. Hmm. There is a problem with this sentence. Now, they are talking also about university library, right, as it, right, but they are talking about it in a positive way. But the connector here, in contrast, this uh, transition this connector usually talk about uh, a contrast idea about opposite idea but the idea here it's not the opposite it's actually adding its addition to the idea that is previous right which is a positive thing they are the author was talking about so the problem here is with the connector this shouldn't be in in contrast this is in addition right in addition so if we come here uh, incorrect connector we got this the problem with the cohesion now right now if we continue um, uh, in addition is in the first translate changing and diverse research need of the campus into innovative and effective services and information experiences students go to the library early ah there is a problem also with the um, uh, this is not two sentences. This should be in one sentence. Those this is shouldn't be a period here. It should be a comma, right? And then students should be small letter. This is will be adverbial clause. In addition to, right? In addition to, uh, it's in the verse to translate the change, right? Comma. Students go to the library early in the morning and late at night, right? So also here, period. Again, this is also period because this is will be an adverbial clause. Check out the meaning of adverbial clause I have explained in a previous video. Uh, you have to make sure to understand it. And this is very important. All right, so here is period. Then I have to make this capital. Some students work in the library all night. All right. Okay, so if you put a period here and start a new sentence because these are two independent clauses, that means we have answered two questions. The first one with the period, uh, that sh uh, the first thing is the comma. If we go back, 
right? We got the comma, right? The missing comma, we got it right. And then with that period, if you take a look, if we don't put the period here, this will be two independent clauses without any comma, without any period. This is a Renon sentence, and I have explained that uh, in the previous video. Check out the link, right? So this is a Renon sentence. We have to put period and a capital letter in the next word. So uh, we got this right as well. Okay, this is a Renon sentence. All right, let's continue. Uh, some students work in the library all night. The lights are always on. That's no problem because it's still talking about the library, right? There is a coffee shop near the library. Here is a problem. Here is a problem. They are not talking about the library now. They're talking about coffee shops near the library, which is wrong. This is talking about the library. So this is a irrelevant sentence. The problem with Unity. And check out the video. I have talked about Unity before, right? Sorry. So unity here um, is, we got it right, all right? There is one, uh, we have to find this one, the grammar, correcting one subject verb disagreement. Let's do it, subject verb disagreement, let's continue. In short, the library aim to help students explore. The library aim or the library aims, right? So we have to get this right as well, so the library M's here. So we got this. If we go back here, the uh, subject verb disagreement, we get it right. So we got them now all right. Again, I have explained all of them. Uh, some of them I explained in the class and also explained them in the previous video. So check them out. Make sure that you understand them very well. All right. So let's see. You have to correct them in the exam. So the, the mistake, you have to cross it out and you have to put the correct transition or the correct connector. And if there is a comma, you have to put it and delete the period, correct the uh, capital to small letters, right? Uh, so make sure that you cross out all the um, irrelevant sentence, all right? Okay, if you have any question, uh, as always, make sure to write it down in the comments or ask me. Uh, and I'll make sure if you write it in the comments, I will come back to give you my feedback. All right, thank you everybody and uh, good luck in the exams.